welcome to Fox Young World, guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to convert a 3.2 FSI engine to 3.0 TFSI. Yeah, here we have a Audi Q7 2012 to 2014 model 3.0 TFSI supercharged engine. So guys, I'm going to show you how to convert it. You can see now we are trying to bring down the engine from the car. Yeah, this engine you are seeing now is bad. But the two top cylinder and other components like compressor, tonator are still okay. So we are going to ch change the half engine by using FSI 3.2 liter engine and convert it. Here we have 3.0 TFSI, the old engine. Here we have a 3.2 FSI engine. The FSI engine costs about 1.5 to 1.8 million naira in the market, while FSI engine costs about 450 to 650,000 naira in the market. By doing this, we are going to cut off a lot of costs. So guys, please look at what I'm doing very well so you understand it. We are losing out the fair ray. We have already lost the manifold. We are losing out the fair ray now so that we will transfer it from the TFSI engine to the FSI engine. So that's what we are doing now. I'm starting the TFSI engine now on the FSI engine. We are building the FSI engine to become TFSI engine. Now we are bringing out the top cylinder from the TFSI engine. You can see what I'm doing now. I'm taking out the top cylinder. Also transfer the thermostat casing to the FSI engine. Now we are losing the air vacuum from the TFSI engine so that we transfer it to the FSI engine to make it become TFSI. Here we have a thread hole on the TFSI engine while the thread is not here. So what we will do now on this aluminium, we have to put that thread here. At this point, we are losing out the top cylinder from the boat engine. So, what next to do is to start losing the back cover from the TFSI engine due to the starting sensor because the FSI engine the starting sensor is on the gearbox, while the TFSI engine starting sensor is on the engine. So, look at here, we are losing out the cover. We already removed the starting sensor. So, this cover. We we'll go to FSI engine. This is the most difficult stage. Here you make no mistake. I mean no mistake here. I'm losing out the sprocket now. 
as you can see it's broken it's not the same you have to take out this bracket from the CFSI and bring it to the FSI engine together with the top cylinder chain This bracket bracket is not the same thing to the FSI. Look at it, take a look at it. This is FSI sprocket bracket. You see how it look like and this is the FSI sprocket bracket. So now we have to lose it out from the TFSI. Then take it to the FSI. Please, there are a lot to do here. Everything you are going to do here should be by measurement. This bracket, bracket, you need to drill a hole before it would work on the FSI, the oil switch. You need to measure it before you drill it. And the key on the driver side, you will see it on the video. You need to measure it from the surfacing to the key so that you don't make mistake. Please, 
make no mistake here. Make sure that for to the key before you do the whole please. No mistake. Here I'm tightening the TFSI top cylinder on the FSI engine. Turn up. It's okay, come back. Come back. Come come from small. Done. That's the time in there. Turn the engine. Go up. Come on, go up. Come on now. Hook back. Can go to the other side. Hook back. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, man. 